All right, so I made a little uh, test jig, I guess you'd call it, that plugs onto here, and that allows me to inject some voltages into this board all by itself. Um, and then I can power up this board with five volts. And I did that and did some testing and stuff, and it, I can't find anything wrong with this board. So um, I poked around some more and I decided that it might just be a switch contact thing. And uh, these are those sealed switches. So I drilled a small hole in each switch so I could put in fluid inside, uh, contact cleaning fluid, and uh, found out that it's nasty on your skin. I got like a chemical burn on the back of my hand where it spilled a bunch. Um, so yeah, wear gloves when you use that stuff. Um, so uh, I think it might sort of be working. So I cleaned these switches too. So I say we put it together, and just for, in case you ever work on one of these, um, you can operate uh, this display without these three connectors. These three connectors only affect the decimal points. They light up the, th the three dif different decimal points. And so if you're not worried about decimal points, you can just think of that in your head. Uh, you, don't, you don't need that connection, so you really only need this connection. So. Uh, let's go ahead and put it back together. All right, we are we are back together. Let me uh, get my power back. Uh, plus minus. There we go. Let's kind of throw that back there. I uh, lowered you guys down. Let's turn this thing on. And there we go. Let's see what mode are we in. We are in volts DC mode. So let's go ahead and plug in our test leads. See what happens. Uh, let's see. They are, yeah this one and this one and uh, kind of a funny there we go and we are getting some volts hmm okay plug these things in better well we were so oh, I mucked things. Oh, hmm. Maybe there's a. Oh, there we go. We're out of range. 0.95. And I am entering 0.95. Yay! Uh, let me take it up here to 1.87, 1.86. Hey, look at that. It's working. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just bad contacts. Um, so we could try, we could try to measure some resistors, see if that works. Let's see here. Let's, uh, get the test leads off here. Let's put it into resistor mode, which is this button. Let me get some resistors to test. I don't know what range I'm in. I'm in, uh, 20. Let's go to 2000. This one is a no, that doesn't seem to be working. Uh, twenty two two hundred millivolts, two hundred ohms, two maybe this is two kilo ohms here. I don't know the ranging on this thing. Yeah, I don't know if ohms are working. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a, there's one. 1K. This one should be 10. I'll have to go up a range. Oops, that one. Go up a range for 10. Oh. Yeah, these 
things are dirty. The uh, probes are dirty. There we go. 10. Yeah, so I think it's working. Um, so is it working well? I would say no. Uh, is it worth saving? <laughs> uh, maybe if you're a collector and you just want it for your collection. I think it does work somewhat. Uh, I'm not going to go any farther because I just don't think it's warranted to uh, to spend much time on it, um, especially since I'm not going to own it. <laughs> sorry, 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 girls. <laughs> uh, but um, I think I can give it a, a clean bill of health. I can give them information about what it does, what it doesn't do. One of the things that I found that it doesn't do is it doesn't do AC. Uh, so let me... Let me show that to you. And it's not because it's broken. Um, and if you noticed on the front, uh, the front says AC. There's a button for AC. But if you look at the PC board, uh, you will notice that this stuff is missing. Everything in yellow here is missing. That is a D, uh, AC to DC converter chip and some associated resistors with it. That is not loaded on the board. It was an option. So, um, yeah. Also, I was confused about what uh, op amp this is. Um, I thought it was an LM part. It's an LF part. LF356. LF356. The LF356 was a very, very early JFET input op amp. So, it's a real nice op amp, but it's very vintage. Um, it is a single op amp. It has a, a, a zero on it. Anyway, I think I'll put it back in the box. Let's do that. All right, let me take out my uh, test test connections here. This is the ground. Take that off. And this is the plus five. Oops. Uh, all right. That looks all right. Okay, let's put the shields back on. I think this is the top one. So that pin goes there and that pin goes to get the pins in. these pins in. All right, now it's shielded. Very nice. If somebody cares, they can calibrate it. There's some uh, calibration adjustments here. It's very straightforward. It's a, a zero adjustment, um, a two volt adjustment, a 200 millivolt adjustment, and then um, this one I'm a little bit confused about. Um, you can load this resistor in two different places. If you have the AC option, you load it in one place. And if you have the DC option, you load it back further. And then if you have the AC option, there's an additional, uh, additional resistor that's, uh, that's put here. There's also a couple adjustments back here for high frequency AC. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, it doesn't have the AC option, so. All right, let's uh, see if we can't put it back in its case. Uh, what's happening here? Something's happening. There's some uh, Kind of uh, board, board uh, grooves. Got to get the grooves. Oops. Got to get the grooves lined up right. Otherwise, it's not going to go in correctly. Okay. Now we have to get the uh, we have to get the little switches to go through the holes. So that's. That's not easy either. There we go. Ah, there we go. So now the 
push buttons work, that works, that works, there we go. So the only thing that holds this in there is uh, these standoffs. So really, there's only two screws here, and this this one just went missing. What happened to him? He just went missing. Oh no. Got to take it out again. Oh, oh no, it broke off. Oh, this has been glued before. Oh no. This has been glued before and it just fell out again and I don't know where it is. <laughs> and I gotta search around for it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's on the ground. I see it. A little, uh, Ah, uh, there we go. I guess I can super. I guess I can super glue that back in. I gotta go buy some new super glue. I go through it quite a bit. I always put an X on the tube that's open, so I know. So I know that use this one because it's open. Um. All right, let's poke the foil on the tube. All right. Probably sprayed accelerant right into my Diet Pepsi. Mmm, tastes good. Okay. Right. I think that was a fun exercise. Um, now I've got to touch one of these things and uh, I don't know if there's any videos out there on these. Maybe I'm the first one to, to document these things. Um, so if you buy one, uh, you might want to check to see if the AC option is there or not. You might be disappointed if you get it. Um, you'll also be disappointed that the batteries is kind of an issue. It really only operates on batteries and um, these can be made to work. Um, they will kind of jam in there. They're not right. The, the battery that's right actually um, doesn't have the little nub in here. So it's a double battery. So it's a little bit shorter. There's, there's like a metal contact here and a metal contact here that eats up a bit of room. So although these will kind of jam in there, you're really stretching the contacts of the battery out. So it's better to get one of those dual battery packs, have one made or make yourself with a welder or something. Uh, but it does need it does need four AA batteries in there. They need to be NICAD. Um, so uh, yeah, the charger is just a resistor. Okay, so it's just a trickle charger. Um, the other thing to note if you're going to buy one of these is it will not work unless you have the lead. So if you don't have the leads, don't buy it because um, you can't use it. The the you need you need the special leads and uh i don't know if you can buy these i don't know if you can buy these anymore but these are female and they're real deep and yeah it's just not going to work without it all right so there you go this has been the simpson model 461-2 
digital multimeter. Cute, cute little multimeter of, of the past. Definitely of the past. 